Hey, I think we're live. I think we're live. Uh, this, yeah, usually on my channel, we do we do a lot of comedy and stuff. And I mean, this is still comedy based. I mean, uh, the world of stand up took a big hit uh, today and losing Mitzi Shore. I'm sure a lot of you know who Mitzi Shore is. I mean, she's owned the comedy store since like 72, I believe. Um, I mean, and then, of course, she's the mother of Polly Shore. Um, but with the comedy store, I mean, you go on like list on list and list of like the big name comics that this wonderful woman gave a platform. I mean, Robin Williams, Jerry Seinfeld, Jay Leno, uh, Jim Carrey, Richard Pryor. I, the list is like, you know, you could spend like hours just talking about the list of comics that this woman gave a platform. Uh, for comics to perform their art, you know what I mean? And even though I never met the woman, uh, and I've talked to Polly a handful of times and Polly is gracious with all the things that he's done, um, for me and opportunities he's given me. It's kind of weird, man. Like, cause I don't know. It kind of hit me, <laughs> you know, it hit me in the feels a little bit. Uh, I did not know. I did not know her personally. I never met her, but you know, I think it's always, even my generation. I mean, like I said, she's owned the comedy store since the early seventies. I believe it was 72. I'm not positive on that, but I, even my generation of stand-up comics, even little hack comics like me that just do little bitty shows and, um, you know, little bitty open mics and little bitty stages. And they, you know, Mitzi is, she was always like, you know, you always wanted to be at the store and, and get the light from Mitzi. I think that was a goal for generations upon generations of comics to, uh, to get there. You know what I mean? That was like, that was like a country music artist getting ready to, you know, getting to be on the grand old opera or something is going to Mitzi's comedy store and getting the light from her. I think that that's the best way to put it. You know what I mean? I, I put a tweet out that kind of explained, um, you know, like the Bruce Lee, the martial arts and the, you know, what the Beatles was rock and roll and Hank senior was the country music. That's what Mitzi was for stand up comics, you know, not only did she pave a road, you know, she had like a palace at the end of this road with a stage for uh, the launch, these comics, the icons of comics, you know what I mean? She's a true, um, I can't say it. she's a true tra trailblazer and patriarch that like she set the road for like, stand up, you know what I mean? Without Mitzi, there is no stand up comedy as we know today. And that's, that's just a damn fact. Uh, she phenomenal woman. Not only did, did she give these comics a place to perform, and she gave comics places to sleep, and it was a launching pad, and it helped so many comics and helped the art of stand-up. I firmly believe there would be no stand-up comedy. I mean, there probably would be, but nothing like it is today without Mitzi. Ph a ph phenomenal woman. Heart of Gold and uh, is a big hit, um, a big hit uh, losing her. But I'm pretty sure Robin and Richard will be the first ones greeting her. They're on the other side. So uh, I guess the comedy store done moved on up. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, yeah, it's, it's a heavy-hearted day. Like I said, I mean, I don't know. I never got to meet the woman, like I said. It just kind of hit, you know, I don't know if it's – um just because it's the art form that I'm, I love and I'm passionate about, you know what I mean? But uh, it's, it's a, uh, it, it, you know, she's, she's been ill for a while, but still heavy heart. I got a, a very heavy heart. I hope Polly, um, I try to reach out to Polly a few different times and I hope he knows that uh, he's in my thoughts and prayers and I'm sending lots of love and good vibes his way. And uh, just a heavy day, you know what I mean? It's, it's like a heavy feeling, you know what I mean? Like a heavy feeling uh, draped over the day. 
um, she was a true icon, man. It's like, you know, everybody knows the, 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 the Richard Pryors and the Robin Williams and the David Letterman's and the Jay Leno's and the Jerry Seinfeld's. And, and like I said, the list goes on and on and on, but where they got their start, where they got their launch from was from Mitzi. You know, Mitzi gave, gave them that platform. And, uh, I just wanted to do a video just kind of just, uh, pay homage and, you know, express my love and gratitude for what the woman did for, uh, the art that I love, the, the, the artist that inspired me, um, phenomenal woman, phenomenal heart. And, uh, she's going to be truly missed. And, uh, from the bottom of my heart and soul, thank you, Mitzi, for your selflessness and uh, the hard work and dedication you put in. He said, "I know it was like seventy-one or seventy-two that she that, that she ran the comedy store." So I'm like, that's a, "That's a long time, man. That is a long time." And a lot of great. I mean, all the comedy icons come from the comedy store. That's still, you know, that's if you you make it to the comedy store, you've made it. You know. Uh, like in my brain, you know, even if I could just get to the comedy store and bomb, you know, that, 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 that's a achievement, but, um, yeah, that was a heavy day. And again, heaven's gained another phenomenal angel and, uh, yeah, it's very rare when I'm lost for words, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I usually got a lot of words. You can't shut me up. But, uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, she's been ill for a while and things, but, you know, it's still it's still a hit. It's still a hit. You know what I mean? It's still a pretty big hit. And my heart goes out to Polly and uh, and the whole Shore family. Huh. I think I covered it. I think I said you know, what I wanted to say, what I needed to say. Truly going to be missed, man. Truly going to be missed. I mean – I mean, you just, you just stay, you don't have people in the world that impact so many generations the way Mincy did. You know what I mean? Generations after generations after generations of comics, she's impacted. She's gave an opportunity because in the comedy game, that's what you, you're looking for an opportunity. And she gave so many, I mean, generations, man, like, Spanning clear back to the Jerry Seinfelds and the Richard Pryors and and the Robin Williams and you know Eddie Griffiths and Jim Carrey's and and her son Polly Shore. I mean, just so many, so many, so many levels. Uh, that's like a one and a trillion individual to have that type of heart. Because, like I said, not only did she have the best. I mean, the Comedy Store is the best comedy club, not only in America, the world. That is, that is it. You know, what I mean, yeah, Comedy Store is it if you're a stand-up comic. And not only does she have that, but like I said, I mean, she would give places, you know, give these comics that would be struggling, working two, three jobs just to stay around that area, just to, to have a chance to grace the stage at the store. She would give these some of these comics places to sleep at night because they couldn't afford nothing else. I mean, there's not that many people in this world in any walk of life that would open up their home and their heart um, to a struggling artist like that. You know what I mean? Like a uh, phenomenal woman, phenomenal woman. You cannot say enough good things about Mitzi. She's, and like I said, it, it hit me in a weird way because I, I never knew her. I never knew her personally. I've never met her. Um, I did, of course, meet her son and, and have talks with her son and, and seeing how gracious and um, open hearted he is. And I believe he got a lot of that from Mitzi. And um, it's, she's a legend definitely a legend and uh you know because you know people you, you talk about stand-up comedy and people automatically you know you know the richard priors you know the robin williams and, 
and you know all these icons, but for these icons, they've had to catch a break. They've had to have somebody notice their talent, help them develop that craft, and give them a place to hone their craft. And that's what Mitzi did for generations of comics, for generations of comics. And uh, the, the comedy store is still doing it. You know what I mean? The, uh, she's a very, very beautiful woman uh, inside and out. And uh, again, you know, in my eyes, she's right up there with the Mother Teresa's in the world. Uh, and that's the way I look at Mitzi. I mean, so caring and giving and, and the, just to see what she has done and uh, the legacy she's left speaks in volumes. And uh, yeah, wow, phenomenal woman and phenomenal legacy. And it hurts my heart that I'll never get the chance to meet her or uh, to get the light from her. But in, in the same breath, the legacy's still there. The, the comedy store still want to go because, you know, Polly's there. And uh, Polly is the legacy. And uh, it's just hard to find the words in situations like this. You know, hey, thank you there, Tom. Um, Yeah, it's just, it's just a heavy day, man. A heavy day. Um, but I know she can rest easy now. She fought for a long time. And uh, heavy day. Yeah, I mean, if I ever... If I ever get the chance to touch that stage, uh, that would be phenomenal. You know, <laughs> like I said, because that that is the place for 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 comics, and it will always be the place for comics. The comedy store will always be the place. If you're a stand-up comic, that's where you want to be. And like I said, I mean, she's a she's affected and influenced so many comics over so many generations on so many different levels. Cause I'm, I'm like a pebble of sand on a beach in the stand up comic world. I'm nothing and a nobody. You know what I mean? I'm doing little bitty gigs and little bitty shows whenever I can, whenever I have a chance and she's influenced me. And, you know, I, I, I like to think I'm a student of the game and I love the history behind uh, uh, my art and, that has always been like a goal of mine. You know what I mean? You get, get the light from Mitzi at the, at the, at the store, you know, and for me, you know, I'm 32 and she's been, she owned us since 72. I mean, that's, that's a, that's a long legacy. You don't get that many people in any walks of life to have that, to have that uh, impact, you know what I mean? Of that, that long of time. Uh, it's, it's phenomenal. Uh, and man, big hit. Appreciate that, Tom. Yeah, I mean, like I said, you know, everybody knows the big names, but behind those big names, there's one name, and that's Mitzi. And I hope wherever you are right now, Mitzi, you can rest easy. And from the bottom of my heart, I thank you and have the utmost respect and love for you and for what you've done for the art that I am lucky enough to somewhat try to give justice to every time I step on the stage and grab a mic. I love the hell out of you and never got to meet you. Uh, <laughs> and, you and you made a pretty, pretty cool son. You know what I mean? He's, pretty, he's a pretty good guy. <laughs> I just think it's cool that the legacy of the story is going to live on forever. You know, she, I think just humans in general, like we always want to leave our mark. You know what I mean? Like 
when we're gone, we want to leave some sort of mark, some sort of legacy, something that carries on. And Mitzi did that phenomenally. You know what I mean? She definitely left her mark. She definitely left a gigantic footprint in the world. And, uh, I'd be forever grateful for it. Um, forever grateful for it. Because like I said, the, the stand-up would exist now without Mitzi, but what would it be like? Wouldn't be nothing like it was today. Would Richard Pryor been what he was? Would Robin Williams, Letterman, Leno, Kerry, you know, Joe Rogan? <laughs> I mean, the list, could it just keeps going. You know, Eddie Griffith, I mean, everybody who's anybody got their start and launch at the store. So stand up would exist, but would it really? You know what I mean? She was, she was our genesis in the stand up realm, the stand up art. Mitzi, Mitzi was our genesis. She started it. She launched it. She not only cared about the art, but the artist, you know, the struggles that they go through and you know, I can keep <laughs> going on for hours uh, about, you know, the things this, the, this woman has done uh, for the art. Um, and again, I'm a nobody, uh, <laughs> I'm a nobody in the stand up world. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not delusional. I just wanted to, to pay my little respects and uh, do like a little tribute. Uh, and uh, say my thanks to the things that she's done for uh, an art that I love and I'm very passionate about, and I'm uh, grateful enough to do it whenever I can. And uh, so, again, thank you, Metsy, and uh, you will truly be missed. And uh, much love to your family, and may you rest easy. You deserve it. And... Uh, You'll be giving the green lights up there to Richard and Robin. All right, guys. Uh, I'm going <laughs> to sign off now. I just want to hop on here real quick. And uh, like I said, give my little tribute and uh, give my little thanks to Mitzi. And um, thank everybody that joined in. And, uh, yeah, like always, it's been me talking to you. Until next time, I'll talk to y'all down the road. Much love, guys.